follow the move. Today, we are in historic downtown Richmond, Virginia, and we want to show you some of the great history in the downtown. We're also going to show you a little bit of what lies on the outlying part of the city also. So come along with us. Thanks. There's a lot of things that make Richmond unique. Richmond's the capital of Virginia. It was also the second Confederate capital. And when the Confederacy was about to lose the town, the Confederacy burned it down so that it wouldn't fall into the Union hands. So while there's a lot of historical uh, buildings and sites in the town, it's a little bit different than a lot of the other historical towns. Now we're going to start with the Virginia State Capitol building. And this is a very unique building and you'll see a lot of construction. This is the old original entrance to the uh, Capitol building. But you'll see a lot of work fences and all as we go. There is so much construction going on in the downtown, especially around the Capitol. Uh, this is the rear of the Capitol, and that's actually where the entrance is now. Now, this is in the Capitol Gardens, and the entire area around the Capitol building, you can tell, is beautiful, even around the construction. It was. This is one of the bell towers there on the property. And you'll find these maps throughout because there's so many things of historical significance. This is the, the voices from the garden. It's the Virginia Women's Monument. And there are life-size statues there of people like Mary Todd Lincoln, Martha Washington, uh, Virginia Randolph, many, many famous women that have had an impact on women's rights and women throughout Virginia. This will show you where each of them are located. Now, this is the Virginia's Washington Monument, and this one has Washington on his horse. Again, it does have construction fencing around it, but I did sneak around the corner of it and get a nice picture of it there away from the construction. This is also there on the Capitol property. It's a statue of Edgar Allan Poe, who grow, grew up in Richmond and actually attended the University of Virginia. Now this is right across the street, St. Paul's Episcopal Church, another historical landmark. And what's been called possibly the, the most beautiful building in the state, the Old City Hall. And it lived up to its name. Absolutely. This is beautiful in pictures, but it's just more stunning in person. It does have construction going on there. There's been asbestos removal going on, but it's being restored to absolutely a beautiful building inside and out. Now, next up, still on the grounds, is the Governor William Smith statue. He was the 30th and 35th governor of the state. This one is a statue right beside it to Thomas Stonewall Jackson. Next, going across the property is Hutter Holmes McGuire Monument. He was a physician who became a part of the Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond. Then there's the Virginia Civil Rights Monument. It pays tribute to 16-year-old Barbara Johns, Reverend L. Francis Griffin, Oliver Hill, and Spotswood Robinson. Now located again right there on the property is the Virginia 
Executive Mansion. That's the home of the governor. Now next up is a little fountain and memorial for the Commonwealth Public Safety. That is located directly in front of the Virginia State Library. And across this building is a quote from Thomas Jefferson engraved in the stonework. Reason and free inquiry are the only effectual agents against error. They're the natural enemies of error and error only. Off to the side of the Virginia Capitol are the Oliver Hill Building and the Washington Building. Now next up was the Valentine Museum. And this was one of Richmond's first art, history, and cultural museums. Located almost next door to that is the Grant House. And the Grant House was a haven of mercy for impoverished Virginians. Next up the street was the Wickham Valentine House. It was actually John Wickham's house, who was a prominent lawyer who defended Aaron Burr against treason and later became part of the Valentine Museum. And just across the corner is the White House of the Confederacy. Now Richmond was the second capital of the, Virgi of the Confederacy. And this was the White House that was used 1861 to 1865. Again, as you've seen construction fences, this building is being renovated. It's being completely repainted. It was so wonderful to see all these preserved amongst the more modern buildings. Yeah, absolutely. There, there was a lot of construction going on, but it's nice to see them being cared for. Mm -hmm. Now, right beside that building, this is the propeller shaft from the Merrimack, Virginia's ironclad battleship. Now, we moved just out of the downtown, and this is Main Street Station. This was built in 1901 and the Interstate 95 interchange was built around it in 1958. This building was flooded by Hurricane Agnes in 1972 and sustained damage from a fire in 1976 and another in 1983. But there's been a $95 million transformation done to this building and while you see the original tracks, it is still used as an Amtrak station today. But it has become so much more than just the train station. There is a uh, event center in there. You'll see weddings, banquets, pictures of, of different events that take place there. There's a great tourism section there with anything you'd ever want to, to find in the state. This was my favorite area. Now this is where the trains used to back into the station and it's now all covered and closed in glass. Those are the tracks that are used on, on both sides of the building and at the end of the building you can look out at the tracks and you can actually see the spurs of where the tracks used to come in. The day we were there they were actually doing a photography session in there for a family and those are where the actual tracks came into the building. It 
It's an amazing space. It is. We've been in several major refurbished train stations. This was definitely one of the most impressive. And still being used. Yep. Now next up is the St. John's Episcopal Church. And this is famous for a number of reasons. In March of 1775, the Second Virginia Convention was held here at this church. People such as Patrick Henry, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Peyton Randolph, and others attended. The cemetery that surrounds the uh, church have several famous people buried there, including Edgar Allan Poe's mother is buried here. But it's probably most known for during that convention, Patrick Henry giving his give me liberty or give me death speech. Now next up, this is historic Tredegar, and we actually went here to see a particular statue that was here, but the rest of the grounds was so fascinating. This was originally a iron smelting plant that made cannons that were used and probably fired the first shots of the Civil War from one of their cannons. But this is a statue of Abraham Lincoln and his son Tad when Tad was 12 years old when they were visiting the burned out Confederate capital in April of 1865. It now also has the American Civil War Museum, which is ran by the National Park Service. I love the front of the building where you see the arch of the old brick building with the new two story museum behind it. Now, next up is Virginia's War Memorial. And this salutes people who served from the state of Virginia throughout four or five different wars. Part of them are, their names are etched in the stonework. And part of them are etched in the glass. That's just beautiful. It is, it is absolutely amazing. They also have a walkway of honor that goes around the outer edge of that memorial and that's all divided by counties next up was the virginia war memorial carillon and this is located at william bird park it's 240 foot tall and has 56 bells it's played on special patriotic occasions now and it is also just completing a historic renovation. It's there to commemorate 3,700 men and women from Virginia who served in World War I. It was originally dedicated in 1932. So Kathy, what did you think of Richmond, Virginia? I think we need more than one day. <laughs> we actually were looking at the map and trying to come up with ideas and we came up with a few in the historic downtown, but since we've been here, we've had people recommending places to us. We've come across so much more that we could ever get through. And unfortunately, tomorrow is a travel day for us, so this is the only chance we have. 
So we hope you've enjoyed Richmond as much as what we have. If you have, leave us a thumbs up. We sure do appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when every one of our new videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.